Hi guys, it's Tim with Tim Boy Photography. This week's tutorial is five things that birders do that we could do as bird photographers and it would improve our images. Number one is birders study bird behavior and migration patterns. And if we study bird behavior, it's going to help us so we can anticipate the peak of the action. It's going to help us get better behavioral shots. It'll also let us know if the bird changes its behavior because it's stressed out and we've gotten too close. And then birders also study migration. So they know where the birds are going to show up, what time of year they're going to show up, what locations they're going to show up in. And this helps birders identify birds easier. And for us, it can give us a large quantity of birds to take pictures of. If you go someplace and there's one green heron, it's going to be tough to get a photo. But if you go someplace where the green herons, it's probably, green heron's probably not a great example, but if you go someplace where there's green herons and there's lots of them, it's just going to be easier to get a good shot. So study bird behavior and study migration so we know more about birds and we can anticipate their movements, their behavior, capture the peak of action. The other thing that birders do is they study habitats and which birds like to be in which habitats. Then if you see a certain kind of habitat, you'll know what birds to expect, you'll know what behaviors to look for, and you know what time of year it is, and you'll know whether the birds are going to be there or not. So all three of these tie together really nicely. Study habitat, study bird behavior, study migrations, and you'll get better shots. So number two is birders share information. They network. They tell each other what the latest arrivals are during migration. They share bird locations and spots to go birding. So build a network and join your Audubon Society and do that. I already talked about that in a previous video. But the other thing is go to bird conferences and go to bird photography conferences, expos, events, so that you get out there and you network with people and you find out what other people are doing. You're going to learn a lot and you can share information and get information that way. Network, share information, get information. Birders do this a lot more than bird photographers do and it will really improve your photography. Number three is birders get out almost every weekend. They're always going on field trips, they're always doing stuff, they're going to new places, they're exploring new habitat. So get out off. The more you get outside, the more you practice your bird photography, the more you practice looking for birds and finding birds, the easier it's going to get. So get outside, practice, find those birds, take some of your new birding friends with you, network with people. If you go to places where there's lots of birders, ask them what they've seen and generally they'll share information with you. And number four is build a birding library. Get birding guidebooks so you can identify the birds. Get bird finding guides so you know where to go. Get bird reference books so you'll learn more about birds and their behavior and you can study them easily. And then also build a photography library. Get bird photography books of all kind, nature, outdoor photography books. The more you look at pictures, the more you'll understand what a good picture is. And the more you look at bird pictures, the better understanding you'll have of what makes a really good bird picture. And you'll decide whether you want to shoot tight with a soft background, or whether you want to shoot wide and have more detail and habitat in the image. All of these are kind of choices that you can make by studying bird photos and studying birds. And finally, number five is subscribe to birding magazines. There's a whole bunch of birding magazines, American Birding Association, American Bird Conservancy, Audubon, Living Bird from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, Birds in Blooms. There's, there's a whole bunch of different magazines you can subscribe to. You'll learn more about birds. You'll see bird pictures. All of that will help you. And then also subscribe to conservation groups. Be a member of a conservation group. Help protect bird habitat. You know, there's more and more birders and more and more bird photographers, and there's fewer birds, a billion less birds in the last 10 years. Let's try to help the birds by joining some of these conservation groups and subscribing to these magazines so that uh, people can advocate for birds and we'll be able to continue doing bird photography. Remember, if you want to learn more about bird photography and create better bird images, hit the subscribe button and then that little bell icon so you don't miss any future tutorials. Another way you can learn more about bird photography is go to my website, timboyerphotography.com, and check out the workshops that I lead in the Western United States. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.